Alright guys, so I think it's been like a week, week and a half since I've been back from Hawaii. Rehab is going pretty well. Uh, it's a lot harder to kind of get in the rhythm of things here. It's super hard to fall asleep at night and then when I wake up, I have like an hour until it's dark because obviously it's fucking winter. It's like dark and depressing outside. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. I definitely think seasonal depression is a thing and it really, really fucking affects me, especially obviously since coming back from Hawaii. So I'm gonna show you guys a few exercises that I've been doing. I'm just gonna play some B-roll right now. You know, I'm doing some shoulder exercises um, I'm doing chest press in a weird way, but it's actually to activate my core because my core is probably one of the weakest things on my body right now. And so basically what we're trying to do is implement all the functional rotator cuff exercises in with some normal exercises just to get slowly used to training again. And then I think I, hopefully like four weeks down the road, I'll, I'll properly be able to train. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just hope everything goes well. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just kind of trusting the process seeing how everything goes. Sometimes I just fucking don't even know what I'm talking about. One salted nut in the mouth. All right, so today we're gonna talk about what I'm gonna be doing in terms of sponsorships, like clothing, supplements, brand deals, and all that. If like me and Dylan are still friends, because that's actually been a pretty frequent question. Even in between like my close friend group and everything people have been wondering, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, how much I've made on YouTube in the whole four years that I've actually been on the platform. Uh, I thought that was really interesting because I actually checked the other day because I had never looked. But yeah, so let's just get into like clothing and everything. So in terms of clothing, even though I am still wearing Gymshark because I have freaking tons of it at my house, obviously I'm not gonna be with Gymshark. They did, they have sent me packages, which I'll show you guys. They sent me two or three things like in the time of me not even being with the company, which is really weird. Like literally like just the other week, they sent me something and I was like, yo, it's been at least a month since I haven't been with you guys. But obviously it's all cool, I'll accept it. But in terms of clothing now, I have been in contact with companies and stuff, but I don't know. This is like a big goal of mine. I think this is my next big project. I wanna start my own clothing. I wanna start with a super, super nice hoodie. You know, I know nothing about the clothing industry or getting into it or manufacturing or anything. So I have reached out to some people in the industry. That's like my next big project coming out with my own line of clothing, starting with hoodies. Yeah, I have no idea when production's gonna start. I don't even know what the logo is gonna be. I don't know what manufacturer I'm gonna get. This is all gonna be a process and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So if you guys wanna start your own clothing line or you guys are just like interested in the process, you guys are gonna see that. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm just super excited for that. And I think that's kind of just like my next big thing. Yeah, that's just a little update. And uh, now I'm gonna go on to do some physical therapy exercises. So. Watch me fucking get it. You will see, ay, you will see playing tennis on the Wii. Pull up and Corolla purple drink, but it's soda. Suck it up, just let this shit be a pagoda. Bitch, I said, guys, so we have gotten back to the house actually the next day. And uh, I just pulled up my computer and I pulled up like my lifetime estimated revenue on YouTube. And I think it'd be pretty interesting to see just like, cause I don't know, I've always wondered about like what other YouTubers have made, like, you know, what they're making monthly and everything. I just clicked on lifetime revenue. And as you guys can see right here, boom, I've made $7,100 or $7,154 to be exact. All right, so I'm in the middle of editing this video right now and I forgot to include that uh, I did an Instagram Q&A and I wanted you guys to guess what I actually made in five years off of YouTube. And the majority guess was two to $300,000. And I don't know, I, I'm, I'm just pretty salty right now because it's like, you know, fucking, Shit. The thing about this is like, I don't know, I think it's kind of funny because when you divide this, I think it's almost been five years actually since I started this YouTube channel. You can kind of see right here, like kind of started making money as you can see the graph here shows around uh, October. But if you average everything out, actually, I need my freaking phone for this. So it's been 60 months, 7,150 divided by 60, boom. So average per month for these last five years, I've made $120. Only recently I started making 
like money, you know, literally around like last month. Last month was actually my biggest month on YouTube, I guess, revenue wise. I think I made like $1,450 just off of YouTube and everything. Right here, it's telling me that my video that I did with my dad talking about how, you know, like the whole like not natural thing, off of that many views, I made around $1,400 just from that video. That was like extremely surprising to me because I remember maybe when I was like 15, 16, my highest check was like $500. Like one of the reasons like I didn't monetize a bunch, especially this year, is because, you know, the whole adpocalypse was going around and, you know, if YouTube was to demonetize you and everything, you would get less recommended to viewers. And so I was just really, really scared of that because, you know, they were literally demonetizing people that didn't even deserve to be demonetized and it would just like shut down their channel and all their views would go down. I don't know, like there's just, there's so much more value in reaching an audience rather than like making a little bit of money off of YouTube. So recently though, like in the past two months when I came out with like four videos that did extremely well on my channel, counting the video I was just talking about that made me the most money. A few people contacted me and was like, hey, are you like monetizing these videos? And I was like, no, I haven't because you know, they're sensitive subjects and everything. You know, I was like talking about SARMs and steroids and everything. So, I, you know, I just didn't want to. And then, you know, they kind of opened my mind and they were like, yo, like even though these could be sensitive subjects, some of these videos aren't and you should start monetizing again because now, well, well, I guess now more than ever, YouTube, when you put ads on your videos, they're actually gonna push your videos more. I was like, oh shit, well obviously that's extremely logical. So that's what I started doing now more recently. That's the first video that I did that with was the video that made me the most money last month and YouTube definitely just like, I don't know, it almost has 700,000 views. I don't know if it's even been a month. And so that's insane to think about. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to put that all out there. I thought it'd be some interesting information because like I said, I'm always interested in what other YouTubers are making and I literally just put it all out there for you guys. I made the most money off of this video, not even my transformation video. My transformation video has millions of views and it made less than I made on this video in less than a month. And this video has been out for like a couple years. So that's crazy to think about. And so yeah, if you guys wanna like screenshot that or look at it or anything, you guys can. And now I have no idea what I'm gonna do because again, I'm all alone and it's hella dark outside and I need to move to LA immediately because that's the only light I'm getting on the average. In this next clip here, you're about to see me and Dylan. Basically, it was like 3 a.m. Uh, one of the last workouts I had with him back in August when I went to New Jersey. I felt pretty lost. Uh, he knew that and a lot of people behind the scenes knew that. Basically, I just didn't even know if I wanted to be like in the fitness industry anymore or like create content or post on YouTube or like doing things. Cause you guys saw like I had a lot of spans of just being an active, uh, especially on YouTube. And so he kind of sat down, talked to me and gave me a bunch of feedback. Uh, I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys because one of the main questions I have been getting recently is if we're still friends. And the answer to that is yes, we talk on a weekly basis. And uh, yeah, maybe you can take something from this conversation that we had. Because if you just continue to like let yourself just be like kind of negative about it, then like what's gonna happen? Like you're just not gonna like, you're not gonna be able to do it. Like what are you gonna do? Not gonna do fitness anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm like, but I know that like you still are in a position where you have like an extreme amount of relevancy and you're doing you're still like getting good views and all that. But I'm saying to keep that up and stuff like that and to actually enjoy it, I think you just have to start like sending it and like filming more videos. Yeah. Because I mean I know you enjoy content creation, that'll make you go out and like film cool shit for the blog that you do, put like and go fuck around and have fun with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then you'll have an, an audience because I do. I don't think you put like you don't put out there like a bunch of really cool edits and stuff like that. You you never really do that. So like that will actually attract another audience, like a, like more people to be like oh wow, like Max Schumann. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think you, you just gotta send it and start filming more real. because like. You'll just regret it eventually. What if you're like, wow, fuck, no, I need I to will. start, wow, yeah. like eventually you'll oh my god, like I'm getting no view. Yeah. Like you're gonna eventually like literally like yeah. and then you're not fully sustained and you haven't made that much money, you don't own it, like anything, you don't have a business like that's doing that well potentially, and you're like, Wow, fuck, I wish I yeah, established an online coaching business, I wish I fucking filmed consistently, and, like had long term thought like you would definitely wish that. You yes. know what I mean? And like Because I know like we always say it and then you're like you end up not no. doing it, you know? Yeah. And like, 
fear directly helping other people when you're filming. You could really look, you could look at it a negative way or you could look at it in the positive, because there's a lot of positives, or you could look at it negatively. And you're just looking at it really all negatively. Like you're like, oh, like it's all boring, it's all the same. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Like all that type of shit. Yeah, like, why yeah. do I want to film? I don't enjoy this. But realistically, like, you could also look at it a different way. Like, you know, like, like how can I make somebody laugh today? Like, how can I like motivate someone today? Because you like, and and then you you can derive motivation from that. Like, and and motivation to actually want to film more videos. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because people do want to see it. Period. Even though you don't like it, if you want to further your fitness career and you're online, people will want to see it. And if you film, like, you have great editing. You can make like max tuning like level editing videos, but I mean, you just you're just lazy. But so, like really, like you don't do it. Yeah. But like, you can have that aspect on top of you know what I mean, like using your personality and shit like that. So that's I'm just saying I think you really should just fucking do it, dude. Because like like Callum said, like Callum even fucking said that shit to you. Like, yeah. Dude, like you're fucking you have so much like why are you doing it? Why yeah. are you not uploading? And, like, and I get that like you don't want to like fucking. You don't want to like live a life that you don't want to live and just fucking post these videos just so you make money and have a job. But I'm saying like there's more to it behind that. Like you could actually start to like doing it again, in my opinion, if you just do it. If you go out and you're like, all right, and then you look because you, I think for you, you see so many negative comments and you see all these people accusing you of steroids. And the thing is, it's funny because the reason why I don't get it that bad is because people know me more. Like they feel like they know me Your more. Your energy is. Yeah. Well, they, they feel like they know me more because I film all the time. So it's more like consistent people commenting on my videos, like a lot of like, you know what I mean, a lot of constants. I have like a, a shit ton of people weekly that watch all my shit. So it's like those people are more loyal because, and you've almost lost that. You haven't lost, the which is insane because when you post, you do get a lot of views. You haven't lost the loyal fan base, but you don't have that. They want more from you is what I'm saying. Yeah. They want more from you and when you don't give it to them, they even almost say like "fuck you" too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't like. They don't really know. I you have. That well. I have. There have been people. That but I'm are saying like, because you don't. It's not. It's because you're not consistent. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you were more consistent, they feel like they know you more. They're more in on your life. Then they they can back you up more. Like, they cannot. Then like the negative comments kind of get out. They get drowned out by the people who actually watch your videos, right? And then like you're gonna get negative shit. Like I get negative shit, but I'm saying that so many people will comment back, right? Or like just comment positive shit because they see all my videos and what I really do and then I'm not really like someone who to portray it. but for you when you don't film anything you just like promote your programs and then like don't really film that much like then people really don't have much of a choice but to yeah, be like yeah. what is good and a lot of people feel that way about Dave like Dave has a lot of hate like yeah. I would say Dave gets a fuckload of like negative shit but as he starts posting more like I got, like, it will literally go away. Yeah. Which is kind of fucked, like feeling, oh, you have to post. Like there's a lot of like balances, but I think that like as you're figuring out what's gonna make you happy, how you should film, what you wanna film, you should just start filming something. What are you doing, you know what I mean? Like, and the fact that you guys are so good at editing, like you literally have max shooting level quality if you really put it in. And if you wanted to have that, you could, I think. Yeah. Like, I should be. That'd be fucking, if that, see like that type of shit dude, no one has editing quality like that besides like that shooting. Yeah. I did. It's not like, I mean you shouldn't be like fucking, should be making a lot more money and like being more positive about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, let's go, I'm fucking done. Let's get it further. All right, guys, so I just finished up editing that last portion of the vlog. You guys just saw that conversation between me and Dylan. That was actually the first time I heard it since we had that conversation. The main thing I took away from that conversation is staying consistent with what you're doing. Anything that, you know, is in your life, whether it be fucking YouTube videos or doing homework every day or like study. Fuck, I feel like a fucking like life coach right now. It's fucking weird, but it's big. Consistency is extremely important. You know, this these past few months, I think in October, like, I don't know, I like posted six videos in a row and then my 2015 MacBook started shitting on me. Literally like my last video that I posted two weeks ago I was extremely hard to put out. Like I had, I don't know, like it probably took an extra at least an extra five hours to try to put it out. Yeah, I don't know. So that's why I went to the Apple store yesterday because I was in the middle of editing this video and the computer just wouldn't work at all. So I went and picked up a, uh, a new iMac, like as you guys can see behind me. And now you guys are gonna see what Gymshark has been sending me because like, why are you guys still sending me packages? Like, come on, it's been like a month and a half, two months. Like you guys have sent me like three packages. What's going on? Okay, so basically, yeah, Gymshark sent me like two or three packages in the past like two months and I literally there have been packages sent to me 
not even being on the team. Like this last package they sent me, they probably sent me it like two and a half weeks ago when I was in Hawaii and I was like pretty confused when my dad texted me a picture of the Gymshark package. He's like, yo, did you order anything? I was like, no, but um, basically, yeah, I also wear their clothing. Obviously I've been wearing their clothing for like six years and if I'm cold, I'm gonna wear a hoodie. I have the clothes, I still support the brand. I think the title of this video is like Gymshark sent me a letter. So they, they like, they literally did like literally says Ryan on it and it's like, and it's like, yo, Ryan, like you're back on the team. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, basically, this and this, which is also like handwritten or something, came with this uh, this advent calendar. And as you guys can see, I have been you know participating in it daily. Yeah, so they literally just sent me like this like two and a half weeks ago. I don't know, cause this is like a partnership with another company. So I don't know if like when I was an athlete that they already had me signed up to get this box, but it was shipped from Gymshark. So I, I don't know, like I'm, I was pretty confused when I got sent this. Uh, they sent me like other another two packages of clothing too, like probably like a month ago. But yeah, basically uh, they were like, literally like enjoy December, happy Christmas. And uh, you know, I actually thought it was really cool. Like, you know, I still, you know, I still get this advent calendar. I get to participate in it. You know, uh, I also like, this letter, uh, this I think is actually from the uh, the company that they partnered with, and you know they were like, you know, we hope you enjoy your protein calendar, Mary Fit, Mary Fitness. Today's the twenty third. Well, let's just fucking open this up. Like, you, guys, I've literally gotten like jump rope shark tag in it. Holy shit, it's a Gymshark jewel. I thought that was funny for like a second, but like it really wasn't, but like. Oh, just busting the nut. I mean, 